So my name is James Cavanagh. I'm Chief Technology Officer for Microsoft Australia. I live and work here in Canberra. I've grown to love it. I'm going to talk to you about the concept of digital as something like a sixth sense with which we can experience and interact with our future cities. You see, technology is everywhere. We all see it. We all have mobile devices. They're connected all the time. We often have experiences mediated to the lens of a smartphone or a tablet. Um, and and it, so te this technology is everywhere. Governments have realized it, cities have realized it. And so they build websites and they build apps so that we can interact with our city through our device. And there's a challenge there. The challenge is that as we wander around our cities glued to our devices, as we follow the prompts of our navigation systems, as we tweet to people that we're never going to meet, we get disengaged from the community and the city and the society that we're part of. We become uh, wanderers to a city but not necessarily connected with that city. Now what is the city going to do about this? How does the city react? Well, here's one idea. <laughs> or another. <laughs> I want to suggest that we need to go a little beyond these ideas. And we need to go beyond the device. And I think we can go beyond the device. We can take examples from places around the world where we've gone way beyond the device. So for example, Santander in northern Spain, a city about the size of Canberra. To show you, hopefully the video is back. Oops. This doesn't cut into my time. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Okay, I'm going to tell you about it. So Santander is a city in northern Spain. They made the choice that they were going to deploy about 12,000 sensors across the city. There's thousands of sensors in, in roads, in buses, in lampposts, um, everywhere across the city. And they used that to collect information about parking, about roads, about bus times, about pollution. They show all this information in a way that is almost invisible to people, not to devices but through public display, through the way they interact and the way that they exist. And we can take examples from that. Canberra is already taking examples from that and is moving forward in that way. They've effectively created a digital nervous system. And that's what we can do in the future. But that's only the beginning. We have come to, uh, to learn that we have five senses. We're accustomed to having five senses. Sight, sound, touch, taste and smell. And I want to put to you that there's a sixth one that's emerging, which is digital. And that sixth sense can both augment our existing senses, but it can actually replace them if one is lost. As we're doing in the UK with a technology called Soundscape. Now, Soundscape is a technology where, through bone conducting earphones, somebody who is blind can actually get auditory cues as they're wandering around a the city. They get cues such as they're approaching a danger. Their bus times have changed. They can even approach a notice board and see the notice board or hear the notice board being read to them. It's all digital. None of it is physical, except the device that they're carrying and they're interacting with. And we can take lessons from those about how technology can disappear and it can augment and it can extend our experiences. But again, that's only the beginning. This is a holographic computer called the HoloLens in our offices uh, nearby here. We have a few of them in the country and we use them to, to show what's possible with a holographic uh, computing environment. This particular picture is me using it. Um, I can see the whole world while I'm using it. I'm still interacting and talking to people. But in the room I actually see uh, planets and, and the solar system being visualized in front of my eyes. It's quite a powerful experience. And it will change the way we design things, it will change games, it will change our experiences. Our living rooms will not look the same anymore, at least to our kids who will build in Minecraft uh, through these kind of experiences. But it will also change the way that we design and build and experience our cities. I'm sure this video won't work either. So, <laughs> terrific, so I'll tell you all about it. Um, the, way, the way we're using these computers now is with architectural firms um, to design our cities. You see, that our, the planners, the architects of our future cities, they, they dream in 3D, and then they have to translate it to very boring, dull 2D documents. But instead, it's possible with something like this, and this kind of technology, to design in 3D, in a, in a 3D space of light and shadows, 
and to visualize that, to experience it, to share that experience. And that's where, where we live. So I'll leave you with this quote, we live not in the digital, we live not in the physical, but in the kind of minestrone that our mind makes of the two. Thank you very much.